Okay, this is going to be uh, how you would install your primary mirror into the mirror cell. Uh, what you'll notice on the mirror cell is that you've got two brass thumb screws here and here, here and here. You unscrew them. All right, they just go into threaded inserts in the side of the box. They would unscrew. What I usually do is so that I don't lose these guys. These are obviously very important. I take them and I just thread them into this side of the threaded insert so they don't get dropped or stepped on or lost or anything. So they thread right into the side. And then what I also have usually is a box here of some sort, eyepiece case or some kind of equipment box. I slide here so then you can flip the mirror cell down. And if the mirror was not in here yet, you could take and drop it in from the top or slide it in here and if you'll notice there are three mirror clips that go onto the face of the mirror. Uh, these can be swung away so that when you put the mirror in they're not in the way and then you put the mirror in and you swing them back onto the face of the mirror. Uh, another thing to note is that the mirror should not be touching these clips. The only thing that should be touching the mirror is the sling which you can see and the 18 points of flotation on the back of the mirror. There's the only things that should be touching it. You don't want to constrict the mirror in any way. When you have the sling around the bottom edge of the mirror, you want to make sure that you've got a little bit of play right and left and a little bit up and down. Uh, and to adjust that, if the sling is too tight or if it's too loose, if the sling's too loose and the mirror is resting on these two bottom posts, that's not good. Or if it's too tight and it's jammed up against the post, which you probably can't see, but is up here, which is identical to these two, that's also not good. So you're going to take your 9 16 inch wrench, and on this bolt here, which is the one that controls the length of the sling, you can take it and either tighten it or loosen it, and that'll move the sling by winding it or unwinding it, and that'll drop the mirror down, and you'll have your play. But uh, it's going to be a little bit of back and forth to get that mirror just right, so that uh, you know it's not actually touching anything but the sling and these 18 flotation points on the back.